Hey there, YouTube. Ken Horowitz from Sega16.com, back with another episode of MELF's Musings. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about my earliest memories of the Sega Genesis. When I first saw it, what made me decide to get one, and how I felt when I got it. And I can honestly tell you that even though I love the Sega Genesis with all my heart, it was not my first choice. I was very much inclined towards getting a TurboGrafx-16 instead. You know, I'd seen the commercials, I'd seen the advertisements and magazines, I'd gone to Toys R Us, and it was just something that really, really blew me away. I hadn't had a chance to see the Genesis, really. And I was really, really decided on getting a TurboGrafx-16. And then my friend Jose, who lived up the street from me, he got a Sega Genesis, and and that Christmas he got a whole bunch of games. I mean, he had Mystic Defender, he had Revenge of Shinobi, Golden Axe, Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle... You know, he had them all. And I remember going to his house to see these games. I mean, he just had his first baby and his wife was with the baby and she was so tolerant of us that we were at our house, I mean, almost every day to play Sega Genesis. And I remember seeing Revenge of Shinobi and in addition to the great music and how, you know, it was great ninja game, I was just amazed at how different the graphics were. I was so impressed. You know, I mean, I owned a Sega Master System and I'd had a Nintendo Entertainment System and even an, an Atari 2600 Junior. So, you know, at the time, I mean, this is what I owned at the time. And I was just blown away when I saw Revenge of Shinobi's graphics. You know, especially, I'll always remember Joe Musashi's knee pads. The detail that I could actually see his knee pads, the detail in those knee pads. I was just such a minor detail and it was just something that just registered with me when I saw them, you know. And then when I saw Mystic Defender, especially the stage, the, fire, the lava stage, and that was my first real exposure to parallax scrolling. You know, uh, when you would jump and the ceiling and the floor would move, you know, but the background would not. That was just amazing when I saw all those levels of parallax, the just the different levels of lava moving independently at different speeds, separated from the ceiling and the floor. You never really saw that on Sega Master System or on Nintendo at the time, and that just just amazed me. I mean, I was really, really so impressed with that. That was the first time I'd ever seen that. And I was starting, you know, to have doubts. Gee, should I get a TurboGrafx? Should I get a Sega Genesis? TurboGrafx has these cool games or all these cute little cards. But it's got a CD expand. But, oh, gee, I don't know. You know, the Sega Genesis, the graphics look so good. And then I went to my friend Willie's house, and he showed me uh, Rambo 3. And we we're watching Rambo 3, and I'm watching him play, you know, brr, 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 running through the stages. And I wasn't really all that impressed. And then he got to the first boss battle. You know, he passes the stage, and he gets to the boss battle. I'm expecting the, the screen to stop, and this big tank to come out, and him with the same graphics as always, and the rest of the stage fighting this tank. And the screen shifts, and it's like this behind-the-back perspective right over Rambo's shoulder. And Rambo's really huge on the screen, and there's this helicopter. I think it was the first boss of the helicopter. And, you know, you're fighting, shooting your arrows against the helicopter, hiding behind the rocks. And that just floored me when I saw that. I was just like, holy crap, you know that it just the boss battle was from a totally different perspective the graphics were so large and it just looked so cool that you were rambo with your bow and arrow you know and you look at them now and they weren't really all that hard you shoot an arrow hide behind a rock come out shoot an arrow hide behind a rock and a couple of hits and it's done but you know at the time coming off 8-bit systems this was something that just floored me i was just really 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 impressed with this and then i decided right then and there that's it i'm getting sega genesis thing was i wasn't going to get a sega genesis or anything until my birthday in august so I had to sit and wait, and all my friends were getting Sega Genesis, they were all buying up games, my friend Miguel had a Sega Genesis, my friend Willie, my friend Louis, Jose, everybody had a Sega Genesis but me, and they were all buying up the game, so, you know, back then, you got your games, you, you were in high school, you were the, like, this, you were just broke, so you couldn't buy all the games you wanted, so what we'd do is that if each of us could only buy one game, we would all decide, we would all agree to not buy the same game, right? So... You know, so like Jose and Willie, they already have their Genesis consoles with their library of games. And the rest of us have to choose from whatever is not left. And I ended up with World Championship Soccer. And I actually bought this game, put it on a layaway, paid for it little by little with my little by little with my meager, you know, my meager, my pathetic allowance. And I actually paid off this game for like three months before I went to visit my dad in Texas when I got my Genesis. So I have this game at home and I can't play it or I could take it over to my friend's house and took it over and it was like, yeah, wow, okay, cool, soccer, 
All right. Hey, put on Revenge of Shinobi, your Golden Axe, or anything but soccer, you know? And I was like, to hell with all of you, you know, this is my game. I, w I want this so much, I have the game before I even have the console. And then I went to Texas, and my dad bought me the Sega Genesis. My friend Willie's brother gave me some money to buy him a game, uh, Super Hang On. So he said I could play it. I said, I'd buy it for you under the condition that you let me open it and play it while I'm there because I'm not going to be sitting there with my brand new Sega Genesis and a sealed Sega Genesis game just looking at me, mocking me. So he said, you can play it, you know, as a as in return for doing me the favor. So uh, I played through World Championship Soccer. I remember that day we, we went to like nine different stores to get my Sega Genesis. And my dad saw the, the price, suggested uh, retail price, $189.99. And he was like, well, let's see if we go and find it at another store. So the first store we went to was Lionel Playworld. Now, for those of you who don't remember, Lionel Playworld was a store just like Toys R Us. It was the competition to Toys R Us. And we go to Playworld, and they have it for $189.99. And my dad's like, well, let's see if we find it cheaper. So we go to eight other stores. You know, and my dad is getting more and more pissed because everywhere is $189.99. That's the manufacturer's suggested retail price. And he's like, no, that's price fixing, that's illegal and all this crap. But eventually he, he relented and we went back to uh, Play World and he allowed me to pick out the Sega Genesis and I got it. He didn't buy me a game because he saw that it came with Altered Beast and that I had the soccer game and that I was buying the, the uh, Super Hang-On for my friend. He says, like, all right, you got three games, that's enough. Um, so I go home and I remember he goes to work the next day. That night I only played a little bit because we went out to eat and we got home late. The next day he goes off to work. I stay home in his apartment and I played through World Championship Soccer through the World Tournament in one sitting. Completely played through it. You know, he called me up. Hey, how's that console? What's that Sega like? And I was like, oh, this is awesome. This is incredible. I love it. You know, I beat the soccer game and now I'm going for Altered Beast. Played through Altered Beast, beat it. And then I spent the rest of the day playing the original mode in Super Hang On. And I was amazed. Even though the control, you know, the way the motorcycle takes too long it's too slow to, to to hang into the turns you know it should be showed it should be called super slow to hang because the game just the motorcycle re responds so slowly but the original mode i found that so interesting with being able to buy new parts and everything and i was just oh, i was so happy and then when i got back i was like yeah i got my sega genesis i'm you know part of the club now and again a new round of games came out and everybody was picking up their games and everybody was laughing still at me because the last time we did this i got soccer so they pick out their games and the one game that nobody else decided to buy this time that ended up being the one i bought was a little game called thunder force 3 and you can bet that this time around no one said a damn thing. Their eyes were too wide open. Their jaws were on the floor when they saw this game. And so I completely made up for soccer. Completely made up for soccer. So, uh, but yeah, the Sega Genesis, when it launched, I mean, every console launched when you're a kid. Although I wasn't a kid. I mean, I had, uh, in 1989, I was in high school already. But still, you know, at that age, Every new console launch is a magical thing. Nowadays, you're like, eh, yeah, well, call me when I have some games and I'll buy it when the price goes down. But back then, you know, you anticipate it, look forward to it. It's just all you think of. You live and breathe it. Kind of like an Eric Cartman with a Wii type vibe. But yeah, when you get one, it's just so great. So yeah, I just wanted to share my memories because uh, it's just such a great time in my life. And uh, I just love every time I look at my Genesis, that Gives, just brings me back to that and i just want to share that with you guys so uh so uh thumbs up the video subscribe if you haven't and head on over to sega 16 to check out our reviews our features and our interviews you won't regret it so until next time take care